Superintendent Elliot. We were giving awards and suddenly there was a man with a, a dark suit and had a bolo right inside his sleeve. That fraction of a second, oh God, I said, if there's somebody who's going to kill me, why do they have to, Lord, why um, a bolo that is so ugly? I wish they put some kind of a yellow ribbon, yellow ribbon, yellow ribbon. Why such an ugly instrument uh, to, to kill me, I said. Anyway, I was still joking at that point. In fact, when this man was hitting me with his bolo, I looked around, I said, I wonder who is, he is about to kill. Little did I know that it was going to me. He, he came in closer and closer until, ah, oh, oh, it's me. I did not feel any pain yet, and that I had all these 11 cuts eventually. This one here, all of this was cut off, dangling. I was going to have plastic surgery so that the scars would not show. And Mark said, no, no, don't touch it, don't don't have this plastic surgery because it is your badge of courage, he said. There was absolutely no reason why I could have escaped that assassin. And I said to myself, maybe the Lord saved my life because I was pretty generous in the giving and the service. Destroying. 
our homes in San Juan. My ancestors' home in Leyte. They destroyed all our homes everywhere. Yeah. Now, they're taking our children's food. Why? It's about that now. I pitied her that uh, she was still too concerned about the non-essentials. And uh, I just disregarded it. I said, when you are living in a country where millions are unemployed, where millions are hungry, and you still worry about the kind of makeup or the kind of hairstyle that uh, you would like to be seen in, then it's just too bad that she never realized what her obligations were. Oh, my God. <laughs> I'm so sad about that thing. I, I never did talk to her. I, I never said anything about her looks. What is the scene that you most miss seeing in the Philippines? It's not the scene that I am nostalgic about my country. It is the smile of the people. I want them to smile again. I want them to be happy again. I want them to have a human face. I want them to have dignity. Like they so deserve as human beings. I'm sorry. We are made to look like criminals. Accused Imelda Romualdez Marcos and Hector T. Rivera are hereby acquitted on the ground of reasonable doubt. I thank the Lord uh, to believe me again of 32 cases that um, will subtract from the 901 cases that was filed by Cory Aquino against the Marcoses. Uh, I hope that um, while well, I'm still alive, we terminate all these cases so that I can fulfill my dream for my country and my people.